Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about how to configure a failover group for Azure SQL database. So I will create a SQL database, I will create a SQL server, and I will show you how to configure a failover group for Azure SQL database. Auto failover groups allows us to manage replication and failover of a group of databases on a server or all databases in a managed instance to another region. It is a declarative abstraction on top of the existing active geo replication feature designed to simplify deployment and management of geo replicated databases at scale. We can initiate failover manually or we can delegate it to the Azure service based on a user-defined policy. A failover group can include one or multiple databases typically used by the same application. Additionally, we can use the readable secondary databases to offload read-only query loads. When we are using auto failover groups with automatic failover policy, any outage that impacts one or several of the databases in the group of results in automatic failover. I'm in the Azure portal now. Uh, I will create a SQL database. Just go to search and type SQL databases. Click on SQL databases and click on add. We need to create a resource group. I will just say failover SQL add resource group. And we need to enter a database name. I will say database one. And then if we have any servers existing, then we can choose. If not, we have to create a new server. I will create a new server. Let's say test server. Test SQL server, zero one. And I need to give a username, password. And we will use these credentials to log into SQL server. And the location is US. Do you want to use SQL Elastic Pool? No. And Compute Plus Storage Type, click on Configure Database. So we can choose General Purpose or we can go to further Basic Standard or Premium. I will just choose Basic. Now let's go to Networking, next step. Connectivity Method, Public Endpoint. So we allow Azure services and resources to access the server, yes. And go to additional settings, use existing data as yes, sample data. And go to review. Uh, I will come back to basics and then choose the database. Okay, now it shows the right amount, estimated cost per month, 4.99 US dollars. And let's deploy this SQL database. Takes few minutes. Yeah, deployment is completed. Now let's go to resource. Let's go to home, let's go to resource groups. I will open the resource group and I will click on the SQL Server. And under the settings, we can see the failover groups. But before we configure auto failover group, I will just try to log into this server. I will copy this server name and open SSMS and connect database engine. Just enter the SQL Server name. 
and use the same credentials what we created in the portal to connect to this data this server click on sign in and choose that uh, azure account click ok Now we connected to this SQL server and let's check the databases. So we have database one available and let's see if we have any tables available. So we have some sample data available, customer, customer address, product, product category. So let's just query just click on select top thousand rows and we have data available the query executed successfully so we can see that top thousand rows so let's go back to portal now we will create a failover group go to settings left pad and click on failover groups and create add group so here you can say failover group are a sql server feature designed to automatically manage replication connectivity and failover of a set of databases we don't have any groups created yet so i will click on add group and i will just say group name a dr sql db let's say SQL DB DR and we have this group name available and then we need to choose a secondary server and create a server name so test SQL server DR01 and we need to create credentials to log into this server and we need to choose a different location our primary server created in east us so if we try to create in same location then it fails so azure doesn't accept so we need to choose a different location. I will choose West US2. I will create this failover server in West US2. Click select. And read write failover policy automatic. We can choose either manual or automatic. So here in this demo, we are configuring automatic failover and read and write grace period one hour and databases within the group. So we can choose multiple databases. So at this moment, we have only one database available. I will choose this database. So if you have multiple databases, you can choose all those databases. Let's click on create. We have one database within the group available. Let's create this. So. Now deployment in progress, we are creating a failover resource group. Deployment is completed. So let's click on refresh. And now we have this failover group, failover server is ready. So now if we go to this failover, click on failover, and here we get warning this will switch all secondary databases to the primary row all tds sessions will be disconnected all new tds sessions will be automatically rerouted to the secondary server which now becomes the primary server so if we if we click on s yes, then the east us location will become secondary 
and West US location will become primary. So I will click on S and we will see this switch over East US will be secondary in few minutes after the deployment. And we'll see West US will become the primary. The deployment is completed. The failover group failover succeeded. Now let's just refresh. And let's go to this failover where we can see. Okay, we don't have to go. So here under the configuration details, we can see. So West US2 became the primary and East US became the secondary. So this is how we configure a failover group for Azure SQL database. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.